Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. But today's topic is Ethernet and collision detection avoidance using CSMA CD and uh, we'll also cover CSMA CM. Uh, syllabus reference, it is mentioned, show understanding of Ethernet and how collisions are detected and avoided, including carrier sense, multiple access, collision detection. They have only mentioned about collision detection. Uh, however, we'll covering about uh, CSMA, CA as well as they have mentioned here, how collisions are avoided. So we'll cover both. So let's start. First of all, let's understand what, what Ethernet is. Ethernet, we all, uh, you know, uh, we all have heard about Ethernet when uh, we connect uh, uh, our uh, system to internet using wires. We always say connection via Ethernet, right, via cable. So uh, in our brains, it is fed that whenever it's a... Uh, wired connection it is via ethernet right so what exactly an ethernet is so ethernet actually was first devised in 1970s and it is basically a protocol it's a standard protocol used by many wired lands so whenever you have to create a connection using cables uh, for uh, local area network. This is the standard protocol which is followed. Protocol is basically rules of communication, right? So Ethernet is a standard protocol used by many wired LANs. And uh, it is also adopted by uh, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, IEEE, uh, normally known as. And this standard is IEEE 802.3 for Ethernet. This is another name, IEEE 802.3. Normally, this is used in bus topology because all data traveled through the central cable. And uh, here, uh, how messages are trans uh, transmitted, it, they are broadcast uh, to all the devices which are attached to the central cable. So Ethernet supports broadcast transmission where, you know, data is message or packets, they are sent across all the devices which are connected to the LAN. So that's Ethernet, right? A protocol, IEEE 802.3 standard, normally used in bus topology and broadcast transmission is used. So if a question comes for three or four marker, you can write any of these points right now second uh, topic which is mentioned in your syllabus is how collisions are detected and can be avoided so collisions are basically detect detected using csma cd and can be avoided using csma C uh, ca right so first uh, thing that you need to know is what are collisions so collision is basically when two systems which are connected to the same uh, cable uh, in the same network, when they start transmitting at the same time, then collision occurs. So collision, uh, basically, uh, when devices, they start, start transmitting data together, so it causes interference of uh, transmission resulting in collision, right? So that's what a collision is. Now, how they are detected? They are detected using carrier sense, multiple access with collision detection, right? However, in modern Ethernet, we have technology to avoid collisions and how they are avoided they can be avoided using carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance so csma ca so for detection cd for avoidance ca right remember this so if a question is how they can be detected explain 
or describe, then you will be describing about CSMA CT. When question is about how collisions can be avoided, then you will be describing about CSMA CA. Right? Let's understand about CSMA CD first. So detection of collisions. Detection means CSMA CD. So what happens in this process? So first of all, career sense, right? What is career sense and what is the whole procedure of CSMA CD? So before transmitting the data, devices, they listen to the network to check if the line is busy or free, right? If it is busy, then device, whatever device is, uh, you know, sensing, whatever device is checking whether line is free or not, they wait for a random amount of time. And then they again, you know, sense the line and they only start sending if line is idle. So this is carrier sense. They sense and to check whether line is idle or not, right? And they only start sending data when line is idle. In case of line busy, they wait for a random amount of time, right? Then once they start transmitting data, devices, they continuously monitor network for collision signals. So collision signal means if there is any collision happen, you know, in case of any collision happens, then collision signals, they'll be sent across, right? So while transmitting data also, they'll continuously monitor for any collision signals. And if there is a collision detected, then comes the role of jam signals. So if there is a collision detect detected, devices, they send a jam signal to alert all connected devices about the collision. So wherever the collision happens, a jam signal is sent. All devices, they'll st stop transmitting then and there. After getting a jam signal, they'll stop transmitting, right? Transmission will be aborted. And both devices, they'll wait for random amount of time and then they'll try again using the whole process the whole cycle continues right so this is csma cd where firstly career is sensed right then after waiting for uh, uh, after checking if line is idle they start transmitting while transmitting the data they continue continuously check for collision uh, signals if a collision signal is received means if collision is detected then a jam signal is sent across the whole network. Whosoever is transmitting, they'll stop sending and uh, uh, both the parties, sender and receiver, they'll wait for a random amount of time, which is different for both the systems and then they'll start transmitting again. So this is CSMA, CD for collision detection, right? Now let's understand how collisions can be avoided in mo modern ethernet. So here also, firstly, career sense. Devices, they wait for the network to be idle before initiating any transmission, right? Then random back off. If uh, devices, they sense that network is busy, then they wait for a random amount of time. Initial process is same in both, right? Then comes collision avoidance. Now in collision avoidance, what happens? Following steps are followed here. First, distributed interframe space, DIFS. What is this? After the network becomes idle, a device waits for a specific duration known as DIFS. Now, what happens that maybe there are multiple devices who are uh, sensing whether line is free or not. And as soon as the line is free, they all will start sending uh, the data again, which will result in collision. So to avoid this, what happens that once the line becomes idle, while uh, various systems, they are sensing, each device, whosoever is sensing, whosoever is waiting to be, uh, for the line to become idle, they'll uh, wait for a specific duration, right? And then they'll start sending they'll not immediately start sending. So this will avoid collisions. Then second is request to send. Now device 
whosoever is ready to send, uh, they'll send RTS, request to send frame to the intended recipient to reserve the network for transmission. So firstly, RTS will be sent so that uh, they can reserve the network to start transmission. Then receiver will send clear to send uh, frame. So if recipient receives RTS frame, that there is some sender ready for data transmission, then if recipi recipient is free and is ready to receive the data, they'll respond with a clear to send uh, frame, right? Once this happens, once receiver receives CTS, then data transmission will start happening. So sender will send the data. And last but not least, acknowledgement. Once the data transmission is completed, the recipient sends an acknowledgement frame to confirm successful receipt. Okay, so. Initial steps are same, courier sends and then random back off where if network is busy, then random mode of time, it will wait. And uh, as part of collision avoidance, there are five steps. First one, DIFS, where once the line becomes idle, again, system who is ready to transmit, they will wait for some... Uh, specific duration then there is a request to send frame sender whosoever is ready to send data they'll send a frame to uh, the recipient whosoever uh, they want to send data to to reserve the network right then uh, the recipient will send clear to send frame to let sender know that it is free it they can start the transmission then data transmission starts happening. And finally, once the data transmission is complete, acknowledgement frame is sent to tell that transmission is complete. So that's about uh, collision detection and collision avoidance, CSMA-CD and CSMA-CA. Now let's have a look at past paper question. This paper, uh, this question is in May, June, 2022. Uh, component one, two. Here, question is Ethernet uses carrier sense multiple access collision detection. So, mostly questions are based on collision detection, which is CSMA CD. So, they have asked you to describe CSMA CD, and it is a four mark question. So, you have to exp uh, you have to describe whole process uh, at least in four uh, points. So we have just understood whole uh, process. So we can write before transmitting the data device listens to the network to determine if it is busy. If busy device calculates a random wait time and waits that time after which it begins transmission only start sending if data line uh, if line is idle uh, while transmitting data also device will continuously monitor the network for collision signals. If collision is detected device sends a jam signal where all the devices will stop transmitting data and will wait for a random amount of time and then they'll try again so that's all about csma cd so with this uh, this topic is over so we have covered today ethernet and collision detection and avoidance so that's all thank you